Hi Leo, this is going to be a general love reading for mid-May 2021 for your Sun, Moon, Rising, and or Venus signs. And it is general, so it's going to be general and it's not going to resonate for all of you. But you can watch one of your other signs, one of your person's other signs, or you can get a personal reading. And also keep in mind that the roles can be reversed. Alright, let's see what is going on with Leo. For mid-May. Alright, so what are the overall energies for Leo? Alright, we have fear and solitude, and this is very interesting because we just had deception and a solitude for Aries. <laughs> um, Alright, so with this combination here, what I'm getting is that there is actually a fear of, of solitude, possibly a fear of being alone, a fear of maybe even ending up alone. Okay, this could be you, this could be um, the person that you're watching for. Take it as it makes sense for you and let's see, let's get into it. And I think this is something that most people go through at at least one point in their lives. It's just this fear of, you know, am I going to end up alone? Am I going to be alone? Can I be happy alone if that does happen? So let's see. So for your energy, we have the Hermit, the Queen of Wands, and the Star. All right, yeah, so it, I feel like you do feel a bit alone at the moment. Um, it might just be that you're also just going within, doing a lot of soul searching, trying to just really find yourself. Um, but overall, it does feel like you are in this place of feeling alone. Now, I don't really get um, some fear. At the moment, just starting off the reading, it feels like, you know, you know who you are. You're discovering who you are here with that Queen of Wands and with the Star. This is, you are actually doing a lot of healing when it comes to being alone. Okay, so it could be that there was this fear or maybe it, it um, just kind of creeps up on you here and there. But I feel like for, for the most part, you are actually um, healing this fear that is within you when it comes to um, being on your own. Let's see for them. We have the Five of Cups, the Five of Pentacles, ooh, and the Knight of Cups. Wow, okay, so the person that you're dealing with here, whoever this is showing up, is somebody who really has a lot of feelings for you, emotions for you. This is somebody who would want to come forward, but there is... Um, Something that is holding them back, and I feel like it's mostly from within themselves. There is possibly this sense of rejection. I actually feel like this person does feel alone at the moment as well. So it could even be that this person has a fear of being alone as well. It could be, it could be something that you are both like kind of experiencing at the same time, but for different reasons, and that there's a different lesson in it for each of you, or it just manifests in a different way. But I do get the sense that you're both feeling this isolation or this aloneness and that it's just not something very pleasant all right um the this person seems to be a little bit stuck when it comes to their own emotions maybe even holding on to something from the past but more than anything what i get here is that there's a little bit of self-victimization on their end especially when it comes to coming forward so let's see what is Coming up, we have the Seven of Swords, the Page of Cups, and the Two of Pentacles. Also getting an extra message for you here, which is the Four of Swords. Alright, yeah, so definitely there's a lot of healing that is happening within this connection, but I also feel like it's for each of you individually, especially on your end at the moment. Um, so coming up in the near future... 
there's there's communication that might come through there might be some openness um to one's emotions to to what they're feeling so there might be like a heart to heart um conversation that is coming up what i do also get is that somebody though is might not be a hundred percent honest all right in that conversation or might actually there might be a little bit of an avoidance type of an energy associated to that but i still feel like it's going to it's going to happen and basically it will lead to this um no, I don't want to say a conclusion or a resolution exactly, but I feel like what this, the point of this conversation will be to see whether things can actually be balanced out. Can things be managed? Can these difficulties be overcome? And can we find practical solutions to actually deal with whatever these issues are? So let's, let's clarify. So let me clarify the Hermit. All right, we have the Ten of Cups, the Eight of Swords, and the Ten of Pentacles. I also had a Temperance um, pop up here. I will put it back in, but I am... Um, keeping that as a side note. So basically, yeah, you you are withdrawn at the moment. You're really going within. I feel like you are doing a lot of um, your own inner work when it comes to really coming out of these fears when it comes to being happy. Like it's, it's kind of like what you're really um, working out within yourself is, do I really need this 10 of pentacles from the outside, do I really need to have, you know, um, this stability with another person and have a completion with another person in order to actually find that Ten of Cups, that happiness, that fulfillment within myself, all right? And again, we have, because we have the Eight of Swords, I do see this as a, as a fear. And this is what you are resolving. This is what you are, you are working on. And it could even be happening a little bit indirectly, like you might not necessarily have been very consciously aware that this is what is going on within you, but as you work on other areas, I feel like this is one of the issues that is really, really um, underlying and prominent. And so it's like by working on other things, you might also be working on this in parallel without even realizing it for some of you. Okay, so yeah. So this is why initially I was getting that you know, it was interesting because I was like, yeah, it's like there's that fear of being alone, but then at the same time, it feels like like you're doing pretty good. So now it makes sense. It's because you are actually um, overcoming this. It's still there, all right? This fear is still there, but you are overcoming this because you're realizing that you can be happy no matter what. And actually, if you want a connection in your life, you can manifest that. It's just about being in the right um, mindset and allowing that to come into your life. And, and this will especially work if you're not set on a particular person, you're not set on a particular situation, and you just allow the universe to assist you and to bring you what is going to be in your highest good. And oftentimes, it can actually be the very person that you want. But as it's just until you release that expectation of it being that person when it can actually manifest. Because when you are, um, when you want something very, very much, like, did that even make sense? When you want something very, very badly, it's almost like that, and it's, it, there's a fear attached to that, like, oh, maybe I can't have it. So then that can actually be a block. Let's see the Queen of Wands. All right, the Six of Wands and the High Priestess. So yeah, you you are actually doing very, very well for yourself. I feel like you are actually um, succeeding at accomplishing this um, overcoming of that fear. And this is also because you are open to your own higher self, to your own intuition. 
and so you're there's a sense of trusting okay that is either coming up for you or this could even be your your current energy right now just trusting in your own self trusting in in the divine trusting in spirit that you are this queen of wands. You are capable of having whatever it is that you desire. All right, and so with the star being there at the end, it's like, yeah, you know, this is what is manifesting. This is what is coming in. And it's all because you are healing your, your fears. Once you're not afraid of being alone, that's when, you know, all these doors and potentials can open up for you. All right, so let's see what is going on with this other person here. Let's see the Five of Cups. Ooh, okay. The Three of Swords, the Queen of Wands, there you are showing up in their energy, and the Two of Pentacles. All right, so there's a lot of pain that this person is going through in relation to you, okay? They're feeling heartbroken. Um, they're feeling, uh, I'm even getting, there's a strong sense of missing you here, missing the past with you. Um, and it's, it's very difficult for them to handle this. They're having a hard time managing this pain and dealing with whatever, whatever it is that has happened between the two of you. I feel like this person is just possibly even going through a depressive, um, phase or a depressive episode see the five of pentacles the eight of pentacles and the ten of wands it's it's like this person feels like they're just so exhausted they're so tired um almost to the point of you know just everything in their life at the moment feels like it's so much work everything just feels heavy everything feels like it's a burden everything feels like it's a struggle um, they're having a really hard time dealing with whatever whatever it is that's going on in their lives. And it could be other things as well that they're dealing with here, especially with this Two of Pentacles. I feel like, you know, it's like they have the pain of, of you, you know, whatever it is that's related to you. But then at the same time, they also have to manage other things in their lives. And it just, all of it just feels very, very overwhelming for them. Let me see the Knight of Cups. of swords and the chariot okay so this is a lot of movement this is somebody who really does want to come forward this is somebody who does want to communicate with you um they feel a huge huge drive to do that i actually feel like some of them might even be taking some action um in your direction even though they're still in this type of an energy so I don't know how that would come through because if they're coming from this place of feeling very, um, like a lot of self-pity and just like they can't manage things, you know, it, it, it might not come through in the best way. It might not make the best impression on you. And it might even come across as them being a little bit impulsive, just being um, very, very like restless and agitated and just um, almost like a nervousness to it. So they might not, in this particular case, they might not be expressing exactly what it is that, that they want. It might just be um, coming through in this very strange way. Like it's going to feel very impulsive. Um, but what lies beneath that is this wish for them to just be able to um, give you this offer. I don't know what it is that is holding them back. Obviously, it's going to be different for all of you, but this is the energy that I'm um, seeing here for whatever reason. All right, so let's let's see what's actually coming up here. Let's see the Seven of Swords. Page of Cups again and the Ace of Swords. Okay, so with the Ace of Swords actually clarifying the Seven of Swords, I feel like this person exactly is coming in in the way that I said, all right, in the 
in the near future but it's going to be like in a very indirect way like it's not going to be that upfront I feel like it's it's like this sneaky way about it like this person might actually just um I don't know, for example, have somebody else contact you to find out something or they might use, you know, some kind of an excuse, um, you know, that they need to ask a favor or just, you know, it could be anything. It could be anything. Um, I feel like it's going to happen in a way where it's kind of like they're hiding what their true intentions are here, which is that they, that they miss you and that, you know, they're just really going through a very difficult time. They're feeling a lot of pain. Um, and they just, for some reason, this person is having a hard time being honest, like completely open and authentic about it. And so they're going about it in a very like around the bush kind of a way. Let's see the two, sorry, the page of cups. It's interesting that I said two. Six of Cups and the Three of Cups. Yeah, so this definitely feels like a coming together. All right, this is definitely a some type of a reconciliation, a uniting. I'm definitely picking this up as at least being a communication where, again, I do feel like it might be in this energy that I, that I said. Um, like this person is going to be coming about it from a very <laughs> just... Um, beating around the bush that's just what I'm getting and the reason why is because they have this fear of this fear of rejection a fear of rejection and because I feel like they're just so depressed that they're just seeing everything from a very pessimistic um, point of view and when we're in this type of energy it's very difficult to actually be authentic the two of pentacles all right judgment the king of swords and the empress so i know you can't really see them down here so let me just hold them up um and this is clarifying the two the two of pentacles so yeah, it, I feel like this conversation will be will definitely be about this potential um, of working things out. I do see that. I feel like you are going to be actually very um, very confident, more confident than this person is going to be. That's just how it's coming through here. Um, I do get the sense that. If there's not an actual conversation about how we can work things out, that is going to be what this person is trying to get from you. Trying to understand to see if that possibility is even there and trying to get some kind of a truth out of, out of this conversation. Trying to understand, really trying to gain some clarity as to where you stand when it comes to this possibility of, of having a, um, a new beginning, a rebirth for this connection. So, and then the final message for you here, right, is the Four of Swords. So what I get with this is, first of all, it is guidance for you to keep on healing your own self because that is what is most important here, all right, for you to keep healing your own self because that is what is ultimately going to bring you um, that happiness, whether it is with this person or, or not, <clears throat> or with somebody else. And the second message here is there's overall, there is a sense of healing. I do feel like this connection does have that potential to heal whatever it is that has happened here. All right, so Leo, if this resonated, please do give me a thumbs up and let's get your final oracle message. Right. And we have dance. Move your body to music. Dance with the rhythm of life. Manifest your dreams through dance. 
Yeah, dance can definitely be healing if you want to take this literally, but I also see this more of, you know, just going along with the flow, dancing with life, you know, getting your yourself to that point of having healed so much that you feel like you can just dance with the universe with whatever is being given to you, whatever is being thrown your way. Dance with the rhythm of life and you can manifest your dreams. So yeah, those are your messages, Leo. Thank you so much for watching and much love.